everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you all the stuff I've been crocheting lately and I started crocheting I think a little over a week ago um, so <laughs> I I tend to get into things like pretty fast um, I generally get a new hobby get super invested in it and then it like I get a new one and then I'm still like doing that hobby but I am doing it less because I have another hobby now too um, so that's what it was with plants like I still love my plants I'm just not making videos about it because I bought a lot of plants and it was a little ridiculous and I don't need to buy any more plants now um, so I just like get into something and then sometimes I kind of overdo it so I'm trying not to overdo it now but it's also just the way my brain works and my creative process that I just get super into something and then I still like it after that but people sometimes think I don't like it as much anymore because I'm not doing it as much um, but yeah it's actually that I'm like doing other things again because right now like this last week I've mostly just been crocheting so yeah and I wanted to show you guys what I made because I thought it would be fun um, also because I am a beginner and I thought you guys could um, also make some of this stuff if you are a beginner crocheter and I'll link all the patterns and stuff that I used in the description so you guys can also make the patterns and I'm gonna start with the thing I made first because I think they'll be the most realistic and then gonna like end on the things I made last and what I'm still working on so one of my best friends actually taught me how to crochet I think it was last weekend I'm really not sure I think that's what it was she just taught me some basic stitches in Dutch and then it's like just find a little like a small pattern that you can make and then practice so um, I started making these little hearts let me just find one of the nicer ones so that's what it looks like and I'm not just making these just like for fun I I'm also I want to use them so I really want to thrift uh, a, like a white knitted sweater or like a cream and then like stitch these onto there because I think it would be so cute and then I also tried making a little flower and this one is a little weird shaped but I also think this would be really cute like crochet onto a little like top or sweater like this one's black so I don't know if that's like I guess black and pink is a cute combination just doesn't really suit my wardrobe after making the heart pattern a few times I got a little bored because like I said my brain goes pretty fast and I if I keep repeating the same thing, I get bored really easily, so I wanted to do something different. So I made this purse. I'll put on some like little try-on clips so you guys can see it in like action. It has this really long strap. I made it like, I think as long as they said, but I think it's a little long for me because I am pretty short. Um, it's like, it like I gave it to my dad and it hits him at the hips and me it's like almost at my, like down in the middle of my thigh. Um, so yeah, but it has these really pretty puffs that I really liked because this was a new stitch and um, I just looked up the pattern uh, I'll put all the patterns in the description by the way and there was a new stitch so I just looked up on YouTube um, how to do a puff stitch and there were like a bunch of different ones it was a little confusing uh, for this particular stitch but generally that's like really easy and then it's just a really easy strap and then I just attached it and it was really easy and uh, I really liked this pattern it was really clear and really good for a beginner also, the hearts uh, were a Dutch pattern. All the other ones are in, uh, like, English. But the thing is, um, things might differ between American English and British English. And I don't know the other, if there's other things, but, like, a double crochet means something different in British English than it means in American English. So that's a little confusing. So make sure, like, that it's clear, like, what pattern you're following. Or also that you're watching a video and you can see what they're doing. After that, I wanted to make a top so I made this top it's very like short and it looks really weird right? like this it's a very vibrant color um, by the way this is all acrylic I didn't use um, wool because I'm allergic to wool but yeah I would prefer to use like 100% cotton always but I can't always find that and I was also just using some things that I just had left over so it kind of depends on what you can find um, but yeah it's this like little halter neck and it has this like cross detail on the back it goes like all around the back but it looks really weird I'll put on the little try on clip so you guys can actually see what it looks like and I was really afraid that it was gonna be like see-through but it's totally not which is really cool so yeah um, we totally recommend all these patterns I think yeah all these are really cute 
Then the next thing I started, I actually didn't finish um, because I ran out of uh, yarn. So I was making this with 100% cotton. It's like this, it's supposed to be this market bag, but as you can see like here, it has a really thick part. That's where you like start and kind of end the first part of the bag. But then you're supposed to have that thickness all around the straps and the sides too. But I ran out of cotton and I really want to finish this. So I thought it would be really cute for like shopping. Then the last piece that I actually finished, um, which the other bag is not finished, that's, it doesn't look that great yet, um, but this is a really cool thing that I saw. I was looking like crochet tops and stuff, and I found this really talented person. There was a bunch of videos, so I don't know who the original creator was of this like butterfly top. I just used one of the first videos that came up, and uh, the person who was showing the tutorial, they were like so fast, they were like, I was I had to like, keep pausing to keep up because I was just obviously just started and they were obviously somebody who had been doing it for a long time um, but it's this super cool butterfly top and it looks a little like discombobulated like this but there's these two straps here at the body and then there's two straps at the top and and then you're supposed to put the two middle strings around your neck and then like these go like over your shoulders uh, and then like they go across your back twice. Um, I actually haven't tried this on yet, but I, I think it looks like it will fit me uh, perfectly. So yeah, this was the right size for me. That is something that I find hard with patterns. Sometimes people are not really clear about sizing and you have to find someone who's more like closer in size to you, which you can't always see because they're not showing it. Um, so I prefer when they have like a small, medium, large, extra large, or sometimes they even have way more sizes. Like generally those, and then you can kind of figure out if you're smaller than that or larger than that. Like, okay, they added two stitches every time, or like, I'm just, not, I, two stitches is not a lot, but I'm just saying. And then you can like kind of figure out what your size would be, but it is a little hard, so I'd recommend like trying to find a pattern that includes multiple sizes, because it's just easier that way. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about this top. Um, I'm putting the try on. I'm really excited. I actually haven't put it on myself yet, so I'm really, really excited. Um, but I think this one will be so cute for summer. And this one I will, uh, as long as it's not see-through, because then I will have to put it on like a mannequin or something. Um, but if it's not see-through, um, which I hope it's a little like, but I don't know, from far away, I'm not sure. But as long as it's not see-through, uh, it will be also in my 21 outfits, I think, for spring. Um, it's probably more of a summer thing, but I want to include it because I'm really proud of it. So I actually wanted to make more things so I could show you guys more stuff in this video. Um, because I'm like working on other stuff right now and I wanted to maybe finish the market bag. But then I couldn't finish that one so I tried, started something new. And here's the issue with the sizing. Um, because I found this pattern and um, the person who was doing it was very like clear and stuff. But I measured my um, rib cage around my huge sweater. Um, so now I've ended up with this super long piece of fabric, which is like, this is it folded in half, which is not my size at all. Um, and this is, I worked on this the whole day yesterday. Like I did, I finished the butterfly top yesterday, one of the wings, and then I started working on this and I worked on this the whole day until like 1130, um, like, literally the whole day um, but it's a super cool like puff thing but it's just not it's not going to fit me because then like here's when it starts and then it, it's gonna continue into my armpit I I just I d don't think I did it right but I'm either going to finish it and then just give it to somebody else um, or I'm just going to take it apart but I'm having a really hard time doing that because I already spent so much time on it but I'm thinking that might be the best way because then I can just reuse the yarn um, but it's super pretty, like this stitching pattern is really nice, and it's like the same on the bust, but like a different way. Actually, it's not. It's a slightly different one on the bust, but it's really pretty. I'll link this pattern down below too, because it is really nice, and the person who made the pattern like was very clear about everything. I just measured wrong, so make sure you measure multiple times, and don't just like go for it. <laughs> and today um, because I got annoyed by that because it doesn't fit and I didn't want to continue I started making a bikini top which is really easy um, it does take a long time but it's, it's really easy and I definitely I would definitely recommend doing this as a beginner so this is you basically like make 
every cup separately from the pattern I followed and then you like attach them with like this band at the bottom and now I'm making like these straps to go around the back on either side and then I'm assuming the same around the neck. I made the one for a size small um, but they also said like you can just like add a round more for a medium and like go up every single time because obviously not everybody has the same body. You know, not everybody is the same, so I liked that. And um, I wanted to finish this fifth video, but I really need to film today because obviously I need to edit and stuff, so I wanted to be able to go up. But if you guys are interested in seeing updates like in like a month or so, if there's anything else I've been crocheting, uh, let me know because I'd be really excited to like you and like to see. I'd be really excited to show you guys um, stuff I've been making. Just as a little note, I want to crochet um, a blanket uh, for my bed, like a cover, um, not a sheet, not a cover for like the actual blanket, but like a, a throw, I guess. And I want to make this like um, sunflower um, granny, like granny square, a sunflower like granny square pattern. And then with like this like sagey, darker sagey green around it, or maybe like a lighter sagey green, I'm not sure, but I really like that idea and I think I, if I can find any like reference pictures on Pinterest, if I see anything that looks remotely like what I want to do, I'll put it up here. But otherwise, um, yeah, I might film a video about that. Obviously, I'm going to use a pattern and then I won't show you how to do the pattern because I don't want to copy somebody else's work like that because I don't think that's um, very nice. But I can like um, show you like how long it takes me and the final result and then I can share with you the patches I used and like the video for trim or connection or whatever so you guys can make something similar um, or like wh whatever, whichever colors you would want obviously you don't have to have made same colors but I thought that might be a fun video um, but yeah I let me know which thing I made is your favorite and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a really great day and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys!